Honestly, like what's not to love about what I do? It's just amazing. I get to see and do different things. The trust of my subjects is something that I take very seriously. Hey, what's going on? My name is Andre LaRoe. I'm a Brooklyn-based visual artist. I specialize in portraiture, art direction, and videography. Today, we're discussing those very things. What are my strategies to help you deliver a successful photo shoot? My photo experience is really varied. In college, I worked at my student paper, and after college, I worked at startups, collaborated with big brands, and made things with local businesses that I love. As a commercial photographer, it's important to me that the first time I work with a client, we get on the same page of their vision and their visual language. Today's class is all about the process, understanding which soft skills you need to deliver that photo shoot and to make sure everyone you work with on the project is excited about it. Now let's be even more granular and understand what does it take to get this done. To properly understand your how, you need to focus on three basic tenets, your production, your time, and your budget. We'll go in reverse order and start with budget because we all know what that is. Budget is how much things cost. You start off each fiscal year with a budget and so you have to allocate it per project. But if for some reason you have a variable budget, it might help you depending on what, how the project needs change. Time is how much time do you have? Can you spend a month on this project, a week, two days? And production, what else does it take to deliver this from a vision to reality? If you have a product that's used in the wild, um, something like a backpack or shoes or something that you'd see every day, generally it's important to showcase that value proposition of the product out in regular life. But maybe if it's uh, makeup or a soft good, something that um, folks use to improve their lives, the visual work that you might be focusing on might be done in a studio space. Does your company have one already? Do you need to rent one? If you need to do film components, is the sound space um, affected? Will there be things that are interrupting that? If you see something you like, what are all the ways that it can go wrong, <laughs> right? Could it snow that day? Do we need to be inside? What happens if it's overcast? Um, do we have a contingency day? Is there someone that, that, there that can hold the equipment? All of these are production questions that you should bring up to your stakeholders early so they understand what happens if you might have changes or overdues in your budget. Once you add in production and budget, you then create a deck or a proposal. That's where we kind of elevate and evolve what we're trying to do. And to do that, the way that I planned it out, I picked an early morning because in New York City, it's always really, really busy. I picked an area that was slightly less populated and then I scouted it a couple days early and walked through the space at the same time that I was going to be photographing it. That is that pre-production. And that's stuff that you already know implicitly because you've done it, whether that's at, at the company or just whenever you make things in your personal life. The next thing I wanna talk about is time. You can create a production timeline that says you'll have the deliverables at this date, but also different dates with touchstones and deliverables that can show the progress of your project. That way you can make quantitative measurable moments for your, qual your qualitative deliverable. Obviously we're all worried about a work-life balance. And one of the first things I wanna bring up that I learned in-house is what happens with, re with revisions. Revisions can be a great way to fix a problem, but without parameters, it can be a fast way for you to never finish a project and then get behind on all your work. So I think it's important when you're presenting, taking your mood boards, taking your visions, um, and presenting them to stakeholders that you ask them how they want to deal with revisions. Do the stakeholders want to be present while the work is being captured? If they are, how often can they interject? It's also helpful when you're establishing the mood board to establish what sort of feedback you want and how what's the most effective way to, to give it. What I mean by that is for someone who doesn't deal in the creative, they might be trying to communicate with you that this doesn't feel right for the project and it's your job to kind of root out what they mean so that when you're there capturing, whether they're there with you or not, you don't have to stop continuously and end up costing more money and your time. Your goal here in establishing a production schedule and making sure you stay on budget and understanding where, what your time is going to be is to eliminate the guesswork, reduce your stress, and more importantly, give you the freedom day of to capture what you wanted to in the first place. You already understand what all the steps are. What I want you to do is to be able to communicate it with your stakeholders so that once the stakes are established, they understand what it takes to get there. Being able to frame everything you need to do quantitatively will help you not only have a better reflection of your time, but also yield a better budget or just an understanding with the folks that you're working with, which is really important. Before I worked at Walker & Company, I would shoot a lot of street cell photography and really embrace happy accidents 
But once I had to start to replicate things so that they would work for company goals, I recognized that sometimes I can't just work based on like happenstance. And you already know that. So being able to plan and being able to put things together is a great strength of yours because once you get to that day, you can breathe easy and just flow. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.